Hey YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. We are back with this MDG junk. Um, I tried it last night and the motherboard light came on, but I tried to power switch and it would not power up. So I'm going to first try the power supply. If that doesn't do nothing, it's probably going to end up just being junk. Then what I'm going to do is yank the hard drive and put it in that little HP right there so it has a SATA hookup in it and I will see what happens see what the drive see if the drives any good so I'll hook it up as primary and see if it will boot sometimes they will sometimes they won't probably be a lot quite a few errors but just so I can see what size the drive is if it's worth it or what so and I will most likely put it if it's bigger than 80 gigs it's going to go in that machine right there as its uh, second drive. And then that 80 gig SATA, I'm just going to probably put in my uh, main computer down there. This has an extra drive for all the backup files and stuff like that. So it's to back up my main drive, back up my main terabyte drive. So it'll be big enough for that. And being SATA, it's relatively fast. So let's get started. I found another power supply sitting in my junk room has the same hookups so all I'm going to do is just pop open the side and hook up the wires this one has the two connections to the motherboard so all I'm going to do is just hook up the motherboard connections not worry about the hard drive or CD-ROM and see what happens so let's get started got my power drill here Luckily there's only one screw in there, so. Has this cone here, directs the air to the CPU. So. Like I said before, I don't know what age this machine is, but look at those. It may not be that modern. But it has two sticks of RAM in there. Also, it may have been impeding it from booting uh, it could be the RAM so I'm going to try the power supply first but I don't I don't know it's hard to say the power supply because I had a motherboard light and nothing's disconnected so we'll see what happens then uh, see what you guys think uh, I'm curious to see if this is this will work and if it's over if it's over a gigahertz I will replace the one the Pentium 3 that's sitting by my TV so let me put the camera down again. Actually, let's see if I can put it here so you can somewhat see what I'm doing. Also, I've never seen a uh, P3 use this cable right here before either, so. I'm do the motherboard connections with one hand, I think. There we go. See ROM. There is no floppy, so which is nice. Unhook the SATA adapter. And uh C ROM uses a ribbon cable. So entangle a bunch of stuff here. And there's a power feed going out to the front, I just noticed. I don't know what that's going to. It's a split off. So I'm not sure. Uh oh. I don't know it's this connection right here. Which I don't have. Hmm. Never noticed this two prong. I may not have a power supply. Oh shit, this is plugged into there. That's weird. Oh, I don't know what it is. The main cable's busted. That could also be an issue. The main cable here for this power supply is busted, so. No worries. So I'm going to put the camera down, hook this up, and we'll, we can try it. These power supplies are relatively identical, so. One, 
down, one to the left. I'll find it on here. There it is. have the last connection to make made the main one hopefully see what happens oh, wrong way there we are there we go okay so we're hooked up I'm going to see what happens here see if this thing will boot make any noises if it uh, motherboard will come to life leave everything else disconnected as, like I said as far as I know this power supply is good we'll away from anything that's combustible so let's go grab a power cord random fish there it is right there right where I left it Plug it into my monster mess back here of cords. Three computers do that to you. Also, some of you may be asking, why do I have three computers here? The Dell Tower right there, Mr. Ugly, is my uh, surveillance. The one on the right is my main machine. And the HP Mini is just a backup machine um, because it's SATA. And um, it's also for the older games. So I tried to partition the terabyte. Actually, I did partition it. But it would not let me install XP on the partition. Also, I don't have my video driver disk for that computer. So that is why. So let's hook this up. Yeah. Hopefully this power supply is good. It came on. Good news. Okay, unplug it because I don't know the don't know the origins of this machine, so I don't want to leave nothing plugged in overly long. There we go. Motherboard light just turned off, so most likely was the power supply. I'm going to get the seat, uh, hard drive hooked up and hook it up to my flat screen. Now let's see if it powers on with the hard drive hooked up. That may have been an issue too. And it powered up. Okay, now let's try a monitor, and probably want, probably want a keyboard. So, grab a cord here. Let's go into that. Okay, I gotta find a monitor cord. I'm going to stop this video for now and I will get back to you.